Hello, B Senior. Lesson 15. You're great, doctors. Let's check your words. First aid kit. First aid kit. Κουτί πρώτων βοηθειών. Bandage. Bandage. Επίδεσμος. Thermometer. Θερμόμετρο. Θερμόμετρο. Plaster. Plaster. Τσιρότο. Pill. Pill. Χάπι. Cotton wool. Cotton wool. Βαμβάκι. Syrup. Syrup. Σιρόπι. Compress. Compress. Κοπρέσα. Injury. Injury. Τραυματισμό. Τραύμα. Take. Take. Παίρνω. Wound. Wound. Πληγή. Peel. Peel. Ξεφλουβίζω. Pear. Pear. Αχλάδι. Cut. Cut. Κόβω. Κόψιμο. Sick. Sick. Άρρωστος. Clean. Clean. Καθαρίζω. Καθαρός. Next. Next. Μετά. Επόμενος. Cover. Cover. Καλύπτω. Drink. Drink. Ποτό. Πίνω. Look better. Look better. Φαίνομαι καλύτερα. Right. Right. Σωστά. Be in pain. Be in pain. Πονάω. Grammar theory. Modal verbs. Παραμένουμε στα modal verbs. Make και should. Έχουμε αυτή τη φορά. Είναι στη σελίδα page 94 του activity book. Χρησιμοποιούμε make και bear infinity, απλό ρήμα, ε, στην κατάφαση και την άρνηση για να εκφράσουμε πιθανότητα στο παρόν και στο μέλλον. Ίσως να. I don't feel well. I may be sick. Δεν νιώθω καλά. Ίσως να είμαι άρρωστος. Judith may not meet her friends today. Η Judith ίσως να μην συναντήσει τους φίλους της σήμερα. Σε όλο το affirmative είναι may και απλό το ρήμα. I may cook, you may cook, he may cook, they may cook. Παντού they, παντού may cook. Uh, δεν αλλάζει. Στην άρνηση, may not. Προσέξτε, δεν υπάρχει σύντομο τύπος για το may not. I may, may not cook, you may not cook. He may not cook, she may not cook, we may not cook, παντού may not cook στην άρνηση. Δεν υπάρχει, ξαναλέω, σύντομο τύπο. Να, should, πάμε σε ένα άλλο modal verb, modal verb, I'm sorry, το should, θα πρέπει να σημαίνει. Και αυτό should και bear infinitive, απλό ρήμα. Στην κατάφαση και την άρνηση το χρησιμοποιούμε για να δώσουμε συμβουλή σε κάποιον. For example, you should eat fruit every day, kids. Θα έπρεπε να τρώτε φρούτα κάθε μέρα, παιδιά. You shouldn't swim in the river. It's dangerous. Δεν θα έπρεπε να κολυμπήσουμε στο ποτάμι. Είναι επικίνδυνο. Στην ερώτηση το χρησιμοποιούμε για να ζητήσουμε τη συμβουλή κάποιου. Should I tell my parents about my problem? Θα έπρεπε να πω στους γονείς μου για το πρόβλημά μου. Σε όλα τα πρόσωπα, should. I should cook. You should cook. We should cook. They should cook. Στην άρνηση should not και σύντομο τύπο shouldn't. I shouldn't cook, you shouldn't cook, he shouldn't cook. Όλα τα πρόσωπα shouldn't cook. Στην ερώτηση should πρώτο πρώτο. Should I cook, should you cook, should he cook, should she cook, should it cook, should we cook, should you cook, should they cook. Το make it should καθώς και το ρήμα που ακολουθεί παραμένουν ίδια σε όλα τα πρόσωπα. Now. Open your course book. It's time for your text. Page 34. Listen and read about Tech Game 3. What are the players' problems? Lesson 15. You're great doctors. Let's play. 
play tech. Game three. First aid kit. Be a doctor and help the players. I don't feel well. I may have a fever. What should I do? Your player doesn't feel well. She may have a fever. What should she do? Well, she shouldn't use a bandage or a plaster because they're for injuries. She should use a thermometer. I should use a thermometer. You're right. I have a fever. Now what should I do? Well, your player has a fever. What should she do now? She should take some syrup. No, she shouldn't. She hasn't got a cough. Hmm, that's true. And she shouldn't use cotton wool because she hasn't got a wound. So, she should take a pill. I should take a pill. Good job, Vicky. Your player looks better now. What about your player, Daniel? What's his problem? While I was peeling a pear, I cut my finger. What should I do? He cut his finger while he was peeling a pear. Should he take a pill too? No, he shouldn't take a pill or use a thermometer because he isn't sick. He should use cotton wool to clean the cut. I should clean the cut with cotton wool. You're right, Daniel. My cut is clean. What should I do now? The cut is clean now. What should he do next? Well, we shouldn't use a compress. You use compresses when you have a fever. Right. So he should cover the cut with a plaster. The correct answer is C. I should cover the cut with a plaster. I think he's okay now. Well done, children. You're great doctors. You win. Okay. Let's play tech. Ας παίξουμε tech. Be a doctor and help the players. Γίνε γιατρός και βοήθησε τους παίκτες. I don't feel well. I may have a fever. What should I do? Δεν αισθάνομαι καλά. Ίσως να έχω πυρετό. Τι πρέπει να κάνω? I should use a bandage. Πρέπει, θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσω ένα επίδεσμο. I should use a thermometer. Θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσω ένα θερμόμετρο. I should use a plaster. Θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσω ένα τσιρότο. B is the correct answer, of course. Your player doesn't feel well. Ο παίκτης σου δεν αισθάνεται καλά. She may have a fever. Ίσως να έχει πυρετό. What should she do? Τι θα πρέπει να κάνει? Well, she shouldn't use a bandage or a plaster because they're for injuries. Λοιπόν, δεν θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσει έναν επίδεσμο ή ένα τσιρότο, επειδή αυτά είναι για εμ, πληγές, για τραύματα. She should use a thermometer. Θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσει ένα θερμόμετρο. You're right. Σωστά, έχεις δίκιο. I have a fever. Now, what should I do? Έχω πυρετό. Τώρα τι πρέπει να κάνω. I should take a pill. Θα πρέπει να πάρω ένα χάπι. I should use some cotton wool. Θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσω ε, λίγο βαμβάκι. I should take cough syrup. Θα πρέπει να πάρω σιρόπι για τον ε, βήχα. 
A is the correct answer, of course. Well, your player has a fever. Λοιπόν, ο παίκτη σου έχει πυρετό. What should she do now? Τι θα έπρεπε να κάνει τώρα? She should take some syrup. Θα έπρεπε να πάρει να πιει, δηλαδή λίγο σιρόπι. No, she shouldn't. Όχι, δεν θα έπρεπε. She hasn't got a cough. Δεν έχει δίχα. Hmm, that's true. Σωστά. And she shouldn't use cotton wool because she hasn't got a wound. Και δεν θα έπρεπε να χρησιμοποιήσει βαμβάκι επειδή δεν έχει πληγή. So she should take a pill. Οπότε θα έπρεπε να πάρει happy. Good job, Vicky. Μπράβο, Vicky. Καλή δουλειά. Your player looks better now. Ο παίκτη σου αισθάνεται καλύτερα τώρα. While I was peeling a pear, I cut my finger. What should I do? Ενώ καθάριζα, ξεφλούδιζα ένα αχλάδι, έκοψα το δάχτυλό μου. Τι πρέπει να κάνω? I should use a thermometer. Θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσω ένα θερμόμετρο. I should take a pill. Θα πρέπει να πάρω ένα χάπι. I should clean the cut with cotton wool. Θα πρέπει να καθαρίσω το, την πληγή, το κόψιμο, με βανδάκι. C is the correct answer, of course. What about your player, Daniel? What's his problem? Ε, και ο παίκτη σου, Daniel, ποιο είναι το πρόβλημά του? He cut his finger while he was peeling a pear. Έκοψε το δαχτυλό του ενώ καθάρισε, ξεφλούδιζε ένα χλάδι. Should he take a pill too? Θα έπρεπε να πάρει και αυτό χάπι. No, he shouldn't take a pill or use a thermometer because he isn't sick. Όχι, δεν θα έπρεπε να πάρει ένα χάπι να χρησιμοποιήσει το θερμόμετρο επειδή δεν είναι άρρωστο. He should use cotton wool to clean the cut. Θα έπρεπε να χρησιμοποιήσει βαμβάκι για να καθαρίσει το τραύμα. You're right, Daniel. Σωστά, Daniel. My cut is clean. What should I do now? Το κόψιμο μου είναι καθαρό. Ε, τι θα έπρεπε να κάνω τώρα? I should put a compress on the cut. Θα πρέπει να βάλω μια κομπρέσα πάνω στο, στην πληγή. I should take some syrup. Θα πρέπει να πιω λίγο σιρόπι. I should cover the cut with a plaster. Θα πρέπει να καλύψω την πληγή, το κόψιμο με ένα τσιρότο. The cut is clean now. Το κόψιμο είναι καθαρό τώρα. What should he do next? Τι θα πρέπει να κάνει μετά. Well, we shouldn't use a compress. Ε, λοιπόν, θα πρέπει να χρησιμοποιήσουμε μια κομπρέσα. We use compresses when you have a fever. Χρησιμοποιούμε κομπρέσες όταν έχουμε πυρετό. Right. Σωστά. So he should cover the cut with a plaster. Οπότε θα πρέπει να καλύψει την πληγή με ένα τσιρότο. The correct answer is C. Η σωστή πληγή είναι το... Η σωστή απάντηση είναι το C. I think he's okay now. Νομίζω ότι είναι εντάξει τώρα. Well done, children. Μπράβο, παιδιά. You're great doctors. You win. Είστε υπέροχοι γιατροί, κερδίσατε. Now. Should we use uh, a thermometer for injuries? No, we shouldn't. Should we use a bandage or a plaster for injuries? Yes, we should. Πάντα σε ρωτήσεις με το should. Τα short answers είναι με το should. Now, if somebody has a fever, uh, should they take some cough syrup? No, they shouldn't. Should they use cotton wool? No, they shouldn't. Should they take a pill? Yes, they should. So, if somebody has a fever, what should they do? They should take a pill. Now, if, uh, if you cut your finger, should you take a pill? No, you shouldn't. Should you use a thermometer? No, you shouldn't. Should you use some cotton wool to clean the cut? Yes, you should. So what should you do? You should use cotton wool to clean the cut. And after you clean the cut, what should you do next? Should you use a compress? No, you shouldn't. Should you cover the cut with a plaster? Yes, you, you should. What should you do? You should cover the cut with a plaster. Now, nice. Uh, did Daniel and Vicky win the game? Yes, they did. Exercise two, questions. Read again and answer the questions. Does Vicky's player have a fever? Yes, he does. Should Vicky's player take cough syrup? No, she shouldn't. What was Daniel's player doing when he cut his finger? He was peeling a pear when he cut his finger. Do Daniel and Vicky lose any lives in this game? 
No, they don't. Δεν χάσανε καμιά ζωή, κερδίσανε. Do the players feel better in the end? Yes, they do. Fill in with the items Vicky and Daniel used to help their players. What did they use for the girl? A thermometer and a pill. And what did they use for the boy? Some cotton wool and a plaster. Now, would you like to be a doctor? Why, why not? For example, I wouldn't like to be a doctor because I think it's a difficult work. Or, I would like to be a doctor because uh, I like helping people. What about you? Nice. Now, let me ask you some questions. Look at the example. What's Daniel's problem? He may be in pain. Or now, he should put a plaster on the cat then. Μας έχει το πρόβλημα και τη λύση. Number two. What's Daniel's problem? He may have a stomachache. Πονάει κοιλιά του. What should he do? He shouldn't eat sweets. Δεν πρέπει να τρώει γλυκά. Number three. What's Vicky's problem? She may have a fever. What should she do? She should take a pill. Number four. What's Daniel's problem? He may have a headache. What should he do? He shouldn't spend much time on the computer. Five. What's Vicky's problem? She may have a sore throat. Or no lemon. What should she do? She shouldn't have cold drinks. Nice. Writing project. Imagine that your best friend is sick. Write four sentences about what he, she shouldn't, should or shouldn't do. Let's suppose that our friend um, has a headache. We could say that you should have some rest and sleep. Also, you should... Take a pill if it's intense. Αν συνεχίσεις και είναι πολύ έντονο, μπορείς να πάρεις ένα χάπι. But you shouldn't watch too much TV or spend a lot of time on the computer. Nice. Activity book, page 92. Exercises. Exercise 1. Label the pictures with the problems with the health conditions. And the items we use. Now, one is compress, two, cotton wool, three, syrup, four, bandage, five, luster, six, peel, seven, thermometer. Exercise two, fill in the missing letters. One, bandage, two, Thermometer, three, cotton wool, four, syrup, five, compress, six, wound. Look at the pictures, write and learn. One, plaster, two, peel, three, peel, άλλο πύλ αυτό όμως, ξεφλουδίζω. Four, pair, five, cut, six, Sick, Arostos. Choose and fill in with the words given. I think I have a fever. First, we should use this thermometer and then I can put a compress on your head. Number two. Dad, I fell down and cut my knee. Έπεσα, λέει, και έκανα μια πληγή στο γονατό μου. Τέλος πάντων, έχω ένα κόψιμο στο γονατό μου. Let's clean it with some cotton wool and then we can cover it with a plaster. Number three. I have a cough and a syrup and a headache, I'm sorry. Take some syrup for your cough and a pill for your headache. Oh, my arm, I'm in pain, ma'am. Hmm, there's a bandage in the first aid kit. Let's put it around your arm. Choose the correct word. I 
covered the wall with posters last week. Κάλυψα τον τοίχο μου με αφήσεις. Use this knife to cut the vegetables into small pieces. Να τα κόψουμε τα λαχανικά σε μικρά κομμάτια. Look, Sophie is in pain. Πονάει. Yes, he has a stomachache again. Στομαχόπονος. Can you peel an apple for me, Dennis? Να ξεπλουήσω να μιλώ. We finished the exercise two minutes ago, Miss. What must we do next? Τι πρέπει να κάνουμε μετά. Why are you wearing a bandage on your leg? I got an injury. Έχω έναν τραυματισμό. Now, exercise one, page 95. Complete the sentences with may and the verbs give them. Να θυμάστε ότι το may στην κατάφαση είναι may παντού σε όλα τα πρόσωπα και απλό το ρήμα και στην άρνηση may not και απλό το ρήμα. People may live on that planet in the future. Number two, we may paint our house this spring. Brad can help us. Ίσως ε, βάψουμε το σπίτι μας αυτή την άνοιξη. Three, Mr. Spears may not buy a car. Ίσως να μην αγοράσει ένα ε, αυτοκίνητο. Four, wow, they're playing very well today. They may score a goal soon. Five, Alan may not start German lessons. He thinks it's a difficult language. Ίσως να μην ξεκινήσει μαθήματα γερμανικών ο Alan. Rose may not visit an island this year. She enjoys going to the mountains. Η Rose ίσως να μην επισκεφθεί ένα νησί αυτό το χρόνο φέτος, να μην πάει δηλαδή σε ένα νησί. Της αρέσει να πηγαίνει στα βουνά. Next exercise. Now we complete the sentences with should. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Να θυμάστε ότι στην άρνηση και στην ερώτηση, στην, συγγνώμη, στην κατάφαση και στην ερώτηση είναι παντού should και το ρήμα σε όλα τα πρόσωπα, ενώ στην άρνηση γίνεται shouldn't. Now, I have a sore throat. Έχω πονόλεμο. You should drink a cup of hot tea. Θα πρέπει να πιείς ένα, μια κούπα ζεστό τσάι. Three. Should we organize a party for Sally's birthday? Chris shouldn't ride his motorbike today. It's rainy and foggy. Δεν θα πρέπει να ε, οδηγήσει τη μηχανή του σήμερα. Έχει βροχή και ο μύχλη. Five. Should I peel the cucumber before I add it to the salad? Θα πρέπει να το ξεφλουδίσω πρώτα το αγγούρι πριν το προσθέσω στη σαλάτα. Six. Η Lily shouldn't wear that skirt. It's very short. Η Lily δεν θα πρέπει να φοράει εκείνη τη φούστα. Είναι πολύ κοντή. Now, choose between should and may. Το should σημαίνει θα πρέπει. Το may ίσως. Number one. We should be careful when we cycle in the street. Θα πρέπει να προσέχουμε όταν κάνουμε ποδήλατο στο δρόμο. Two. It's a really cold uh, day today. It may snow. Κάνει κρύο σήμερα, ίσως χιονίσει. Andy is a great swimmer. He may win the competition. Είναι εξαιρετικός κολυμητής, ίσως κερδίσει το διαγωνισμό. Your hair is very long. I think you should get a haircut soon. Θα έπρεπε να κουρευτείς σύντομα. We're sorry, but we may not come to the theater with you. We're busy. Ίσως να μην έρθουμε στο θέατρο μαζί σας. Είμαστε απασχολημένοι. Jill's marks aren't good. Η βαθμή της Jill δεν είναι καλή. She should study harder. Θα πρέπει να προσπαθήσει περισσότερο. You shouldn't speak Greek, kids. This is an English lesson. Δεν θα πρέπει να μιλάτε ελληνικά, παιδιά. Αυτό είναι ένα μάθημα αγγλικών. I have a runny nose and a stomachache. Έχω συνάχη και πονόκυλο. I may stay at home. Ίσως να μείνω σπίτι. The baby is sleeping. You shouldn't play music so loudly. Δεν θα πρέπει να παίζεις τη μουσική σου τόσο δυνατά. Look at the pictures and complete the sentences with may or should. Affirmative, negative and the words given. For example, number one, I should wash my clothes. They smell. Number two, Frank may have a fever. Ο Frank ίσως έχει πυρετό. Number three, It may not rain today. Ίσως δεν βρέξει σήμερα. Number four. 
We shouldn't miss that film. It looks interesting. Δεν θα πρέπει να χάσουμε εκείνη την ταινία. Φαίνεται ενδιαφέρουσα. Five. I may become a famous musician one day. Ίσως γίνω σπουδαίος διάσημος μουσικός κάποια μέρα. Six. You should share your toys with your sister. Θα πρέπει να μοιράσεις τα παιχνίδια σου με την αδερφή σου. Οκ. Now, time for your grammar song. Lesson 15. Grammar song. What should I do? Jay, this is Mike. I may not come to the park because I fell off my bike and I got a cut on my arm. So please tell me, what should I do? Should I use a bandage or some cotton wool? Get some cotton wool from the first aid kit. You should clean your cut and put a plaster on it. But you shouldn't ride your bike again today. You should rest because I'm sure you are in pain. Get some cotton wool from the first aid kit. You should clean your cut and put a plaster on it. But you shouldn't ride your bike again today. You should rest because I'm sure you are in pain. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you, B Senior. Goodbye.